Hello there, it's Abhinav Nirola. I'm back here with my new video. Guys, just after the conduction of one of the most competitive and interesting test match in the history of test match cricket, both West Indies and Pakistan are all set to bring another expected thriller on in the second and last test match of this series. Let's preview the test match. Do like, share and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel as well. From 28th to 24th of August 2021, the Savannah Park Kingston, Jamaica is going to host this class. If the conditions remain as it was last time around, do expect the quicker bowlers and the batsmen that prefer playing positive strokes to have a good game. Since the West Indian skipper Braithwaite hinted in the last match's post-match conference that West Indies are going to ask for a pitch of a different nature for this class, do expect an unused pitch that most probably might be a bit on the slow side to be installed for this class. Do still expect Pacers to get enough assistance via those Duke Balls overcast conditions and greenish pitch. Do also expect flamboyant batters to have a good time as the ground usually supports the phrase value for sorts. As mentioned, if the conditions remain apt for quicker bowlers, do expect the toss winning side to opt to field first as it would give the side a massive advantage to use such a quick pitch to their bowlers help. Plus, no team would want to expose its batters on such a pitch first up. West Indies Craig Braithwaite Captain Shea Hope and Kruma Boner Roston Chase Kyle Mayers Jermaine Blackwood, Jason Holder, Joshua Da Silva, Wicket Keeper, Alzari Joseph, Kemar Roach, and Jaden Seals. West Indies do have massive issues in their batting lineup. Hence, they are expected to draft in a technically gifted player hope for this matchup to try and resolve at least some of their batting related issues, in spite of knowing the fact that he averages in the early 20s in Test cricket even after playing a lot of matches. Can the likes of Brooks or even the absolute failure of first test Powell claim their stakes ahead of hope? We shall see. Da Silva now needs to score some runs as well. He looks promising but hasn't delivered big time as yet. The tail enders seem to be fighting at the moment. That's the biggest positive that they have been bearing in the bowling department. There aren't much issues with Roach leading in the Caribbean soil and the future star Seals taking the burden of the attack in tandem. Pakistan Abid Ali, Imran Butt, Azhar Ali, Babar Azam Captain, Pawad Alam, Mohammad Rizwan, Fahim Ashraf, Hassan Ali, Numan Ali, Shaheen Shah Afridi, and Mohammad Abbas. In the last match, Pakistan's batting lineup looked quite rusty either. Not sure if it's an issue or was it the pitch that made such things happen? Well, one thing is for sure, they definitely have issues specifically in their top order. Buying the Zimbabwe series, their openers haven't almost performed at all. Imran is yet to score in pacer friendly pitches, whilst Abid is yet to prove himself against quality pace bowling lineups. Azhar seems to be in and out of form. On the other hand, their middle order looks impeccable in terms of consistency, grit, resistance, and fighting spirit. Do expect Numan to be preferred over Yasir in this matchup to provide a bit more solidity in both batting and bowling? Well, the pace bowling attack is attacking big time once again. Their fate in any match depends directly upon their batting and fielding to be precise. Well, things are same this time around as well. West Indies do look like a side with higher amount of issues. Plus, Pakistan seem to have the resources to gain a win back. Fight is what both sides are expected to display. It's more about the important World Test Championship points than the fate of the series. And well, I'm expecting Pakistan, which is the better equipped side of the two, to gain the remaining WTC points in this series and finish off with a scoreline of 1-all. Take care.